Opening round scheduled for 10. Frazier's engine revs nonstop. You cannot say the same for his opponent here, Teddy. No, and that's why I can't say that I have a real good expectation for the hope tonight of his opponent, because Frazier will wear him down from the opening bell. There's the combo to the body. Gets one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Doubling up the jab by Joe Frazier. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Boxing 101, jab, followed by the straight. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. And we come to the end of round number one. Look at the punch numbers from Muhammad Ali. He was much the busier fighter. And you would expect that from Ali because he has the speed and he knows the best way to use that speed is to put them together. Well struck, solid combination by Joe Frazier. Blocks the headshot. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Oh, and he's got something for him himself and it's a left hand. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggyback because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Ali's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Big left hand from Ali. Halfway through this round here. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Joe Frazier. Ali's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Little head knocking with that right hand. Joe Frazier's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Joe Frazier. Combination to the head. Last 10 seconds. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Solid right by Muhammad Ali. Frazier's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. There's an excellent combination by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there's a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Very accurate. 
accurate two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Muhammad Ali. Punch didn't come close. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Frazier's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And that does it for this round. Start of round number four, a chance for us to look at Teddy's scorecard. He's trailing three rounds to zip Teddy. People will be looking at this and say, yeah, but he's throwing punches. But Teddy, it's about throwing clean, effective punches. Exactly. And it's about not standing in front of your opponent after your punch and waiting for the receipt. Nice strike after catching one by Joe Frazier. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss, make him pay. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Oh, his opponent got away from that uppercut. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Ali's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Frazier's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Ali's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Frazier's proving to be elusive. He comes with the straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round four. Ali's got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight. Very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight. And keep pushing. Keep pushing right there. Stay responsible. Stay within yourself, but keep pushing. Good block there by Joe Frazier. How about that left hand? Good, solid double jab by Joe Frazier. Frazier's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier's combination punching is working well here. Frazier's making more 
tough target there. He gets away from that punch. A good two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. That's a hook right to the flank. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Joe Frazier. Frazier's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. I don't know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's gonna try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's gonna feel at the end of the night. Able to get rid of that one. Frazier's got to do something. I mean, this is ridiculous. He's not doing anything. What he's doing, I think, is hoping the referee's going to come in and do something for him, get him out of there. That might be what's going on. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Joe Frazier. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Nice solid left hand scored by Joe Frazier. Ali's well off the mark that time. Jabs by Joe Frazier. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Ali's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Muhammad Ali. And round six comes to an end. Frazier's down on your scorecard. I snuck a peek at your scorecard. He's down on your scorecard. But it's still a close and competitive fight, a fight that he's very much alive in. Yeah, he is, but he's got to go about it like the fight is up for grabs. He can't start saying, hey, you know, I think I'm a little bit ahead because that's a good way of getting yourself disappointed in anything in life. He better still go after it. Smart, but go after it. Nice jab there by Joe Frazier. What a shooting hook that was by Muhammad Ali. Well, if ever you wanted to explain to somebody the benefits of distance while fighting, this is a perfect example by what we're seeing out of him on the outside. Well, you know, so many times I see tall guys, and what the heck's the sense of being tall if you don't know how to fight tall? He knows how. Joe Frazier so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Way through the seventh round. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. And a well placed combination by Joe Frazier. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Joe Frazier. Right to the body. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Nowhere close that punch by Muhammad Ali. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Three minutes gone by in this round. We got it. 
Teddy, your scorecard through seven rounds. One of the most basic principles of scoring a fight is who did the clean and effective punching. Ali's done that tonight. He's been very effective throughout. Uh, yes, he has, Joe. He's followed that to a T. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Frazier's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Frazier's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Well-timed by Muhammad Ali. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Frazier showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. What a nice big right hand from Muhammad Ali. He missed with that headshot. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Joe Frazier putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And that's the end of round eight. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them. He's got to blow on them. He's got to do everything. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. Great work offensively landing that combination by Joe Frazier. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Nice block by Muhammad Ali. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Muhammad Ali scoring with that right hand. Frazier still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. That was really well done. Targeting the jab and then thundering home with the uppercut. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Frazier's got to be really careful here. That eye is an absolute mess. The cut is really bad. In fact, it could fall for an end to this fight at any point. Well, Joe, the key is where the cut is. It's above the eye, and that means that the flow will go into the eye and, of course, impair the vision. That is what the referee is going to be looking at. They've come this far. Now only one round to go. Tenth round upon us. What an excellent two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Frazier's thump by a left hand. Oh! There he goes. He goes down from that headshot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Joe Frazier now rising up, and how will he deal with this? Well, that's what he wants to know because he's been good addition. Now let's see how he takes. A crushing two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Good defensive skill. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Joe Frazier's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Teddy, you know what I'm doing. Solid. Joe Frazier trying to rise up as he's done so many Two, times in the past. Three, but tonight, he's already four, done it before. Five, six, seven. So Frazier gets up, but Teddy, you can tell that he has been damaged. Yeah, the key here is not to incur more damage. Get in close, tie up your opponent. Frazier's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And now another left. Frazier's now having to deal with a bloody nose, and that can be a real distraction, especially when it comes to your breathing. Nice, sharp, big, big shot comes crashing home. Can he beat the count? One. I don't think so here, Teddy. Two, now I know where they three, got that saying, falling four, like a sack of potatoes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. The fight is over. Frazier's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. By the way of knockouts, your winner, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali! That woke up the fans. Wow, did that wake up the fans. A fight that was assured of heading to the judges' scorecards. It ends by knockout. That's what...